fragrance collections can get out of control so quickly before you know it you have 500 fragrances and it's like you blinked and suddenly there's a wall of fragrance behind you but you got to start somewhere so these are the five fragrances that you absolutely need that will cover all your bases every occasion any possible thing that life throws at you that you need a fragrance for these five will have you covered but in my list i'm going to give you guys two options for each occasion because i can appreciate that people's fragrance tastes are different so when we're looking at a professional scent i'll give you two options you're freshy you'll have two options so on and so forth so hopefully that'll give you guys all of the information you need to start building your fragrance collection or if you're not looking to build your fragrance collection and you just want to have five that'll keep you covered for everything then hopefully this list will help you if you guys are new to this channel my name is yana this is the scented we talk about all things fragrance make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell stay tuned for any new videos coming up we'll do all the fun fragrance things together and let's get into it the very first occasion that I'm gonna cover is your sexy date night scent. Everybody needs that seductive scent, something that you wanna feel your best at. If you're going out, whether it's on a date, whether it's with the girls or anything, but you wanna feel hot. Both of these fragrances will do the job. First, of course, Libra Intense. This has become a cult favorite in recent years. It has skyrocketed to probably being one of the most popular fragrances ever. It is an excellent, sexy vanilla orange blossom with lavender. It has a freshness about it, but also a deep, rich sweetness. It is super seductive. It's really a beautiful, beautiful scent. I love the whole Libra collection, and this is the sexier, deeper, slightly boozy, vanillic scent. It's the Date Night Libra, and it's incredible. It's more feminine than the original Libra, so if you guys have smelled the original Libra and thought it wasn't for you, because I know a lot of people find it a little bit masculine, this has the lavender dialed way down. It's a lot more about the orange blossom, and even though I myself am not a vanilla lover, there's a hefty dose of kind of a boozy vanilla scent in here, and I love it. It's just the right amount sweet. It's not powdery. It's almost kind of like there's a background laundry-esque freshness, but it's balanced out with a really nice sweet white floral. It's so beautiful. It smells very rich. It smells very warm, super seductive, excellent date night scent. I know men love this on women. A lot of men that I know love the scent of this and it's no wonder that it's known to be one of the biggest compliment getters of today. So that's one. But if you really can't get down with Libra Intense, you don't want something super popular, then I'm recommending Flower Bomb Midnight. I would not go for the original Flower Bomb. I think it's a little bit too popular, a little bit too sweet, and that scent profile is like almost a little bit too common these days. This has a beautiful pomegranate note in there, as well as a musk that's reminiscent of Narciso Rodriguez. It's not too sweet. It's elegant, it's classy, it's a little bit sweet and almost like nectar, that pomegranate, but a little bit spicy as well. So if you're a lady that wants, you know, a little bit more spice and less sweetness, then this is for you. This is such a beautiful date night scent. Really, really sexy. And it's not as popular as Libra Intense or the original Flower Bomb. This is my favorite Flower Bomb flanker. I think it's excellent and I think that you would absolutely need this as a date night scent. So either one of these for your date night slash evening occasion. The next fragrance you need is the professional one. This is the one you'll be wearing to work or any kind of professional circumstance. So first off, we have Narciso Rodriguez for her, the Eau de Toilette. This is a musky scent with a gentle patchouli. It has orange flower. It has a little bit of amber as well, but it's really about the musk. And it's not a clean out of the shower musk. This one is a little bit spicy. It's got a little bit of bite to it. It has almost like a sharp metallic -y edge it's very beautiful and it's one of those no nonsense kind of scents like you're a no nonsense lady wearing this this is a perfect workplace scent it doesn't project too much of course if you overspray then it will but a couple sprays in the workplace this would make a perfect boss lady fragrance a perfect fragrance if you're a realtor anybody you're a take charge woman when you're wearing this and this is for people that are musk lovers but for people that don't love musk and not everybody can do musk i totally get it. I'm recommending you Coco Noir. This is a slightly spicy, 
warm balsamic rich scent it's not a heavy projector so this one will not fill a room it does stay relatively close it's an intimate projection so really good for the workplace because you're not choking anyone out it has a bit of a citrusy opening but it's predominantly rose patchouli and there's a bit of clove in here that clove is so beautiful it just gives it the right amount of spice not too spicy just perfectly balanced very ladylike very elegant if you enjoy Coco Mademoiselle, this is a slightly spicier, less sweet fragrance within that realm. It's more mature, but it's so elegant, it's so beautiful, and I'm not recommending you guys Coco Mademoiselle because, again, that fragrance is already so, so popular. I'm trying to steer you guys to something that's just as good, if not better, but you're not going to be smelling like everybody else. So... Coco Noir or Narciso for her are your professional ones. Then you'll need a freshie. Sometimes you just want to smell clean. There are hot days that you can't just wear a super heavy sweet fragrance or you might not feel like it and maybe you just want to smell out of the shower clean. There are those days. I have those days a lot. So the clean smelling freshie that I'm recommending you guys is Ocean Di Gioia. This is a flanker of Aqua Di Gioia that I think is so much better than the original. It has a beautiful hair note this is shampooy fresh clean you feel so clean and so feminine and pretty with this scent it's a little bit aquatic but more than anything it's just it's a, almost like an aquatic pear scent for me when i wear this scent i feel like i'm out somewhere on a breezy balcony with an ocean breeze flowing by and i just got out of the shower and fruity shampoo in my hair like it's easy it's fresh it's a little sweet really beautiful but if you do not like sweet scents don't you worry hermes un jardin sur le nil this is a really unique citrusy fragrance but it has a almost like an underripe mango smell it has a really cool note of tomato leaf this is not sweet this is citrusy with a bite and it's very very unique very cool unisex and super fresh easy wearing the mango note that's in here is not like a sweet rich mango this is a mango that's almost piney you know those slightly underripe mangoes they have a that exact bite that's what you get in this fragrance i love this scent it's very refreshing it's a perfect citrus fragrance for people who don't even really like citrus i think you would like this it's just so unique and i think everybody needs some sort of freshy whether it's citrusy whether it's aquatic so for your fresh clean smelling freshy you have ocean de joya or Hermes Un Jardin sur le Nil. And of course you need an easy reach fragrance, one that you can go for anytime, any season, any time of day, any occasion. It's just a dumb reach, you don't have to think about it. You grab spray and you feel good and you never get tired of it. And the one that I'm recommending is Mont Guerlain. And I know that this is a super popular fragrance. You can get any flanker of Mont Guerlain. For me personally, I love the Bloom of Rose EDT, specifically the EDT, not the EDP. The EDT is to die for. So that's the one that I recommend you, but the one that I'm holding here is just the original Mont Guerlain, which is also very, very nice. And just a fresh lavender, vanilla, sweet fragrance, very comforting. This one, there has never been a time, whether this one or the Bloom of Rose EDT, that I sprayed and regretted spraying. It just fits every occasion, every season perfectly. You smell feminine, fresh, and it has a really nice calming quality about it. It's nothing like the Libra combination of lavender and vanilla because that one has orange blossom and white florals. Mont Guerlain is more powdery. It has a little bit of rose and iris in the background. And it has almost like a woody quality about it. Really, really beautiful fragrance. No wonder a cult favorite and absolutely one that you need, whether the original or one of the flankers. But if that's just not your vibe and you want something different, then I recommend you guys Erin Amber Musk. This fragrance has blown my socks off since I got it. I've worn it so much. Again, a fragrance that I never regret putting on. It's a perfect signature scent. You can wear it any occasion, any season, anytime, anywhere, and it has a certain fluffiness about it. It smells like a fluffy, clean cloud. The name Amber Musk threw me off because I thought it would be a warm, rich fragrance, but it's warm in a different way, in a very clean, airy way. It's soft, it's tender, a little bit sweet, warm smelling, comforting, and just perfect all around. So this one, it is a little bit on the pricier end, but I still kind of consider it along the designer line. So this one definitely, 
you will never regret wearing this. It's it's the perfect anytime dumb reach fragrance. So these are the two for your everyday easy reach. Go for either and you'll be golden. And finally, the bougie one. You need to treat yourself I firmly believe that you need at least one fragrance in your collection that you splurged on that's like your special, special occasion scent that's like, it's your bougie one. So for your bougie one, I would recommend either of these. They smell extremely similar to one another. Fleur Narcotique from Ex Nihilo or Levant from Ormond Jane. This one's just a slightly more citrusy version of this. It has a little bit more orange blossom and a little bit more casual smelling. They are both incredible, fabulous fragrances. Basically, they smell like peony, oak moss, and they have a very airy freshness about them. They smell addictive. They smell light. They have an airiness about them. The scent that you're getting really is like a fluffy peony scent, but balanced out with almost a bitterness. There's almost a bitterness of like an orange blossom scent. And a soft earthy base. So Levant doesn't have oak moss, but it smells as though it does. For me, they're perfect summer fragrances. This one's a little bit more bougie for me than this, and the price point I think of this one's a bit higher as well. I would probably even recommend Levant over this just for bang for your buck. Like you probably will wear this more just because of the slightly more citrusy effect. It's, it smells a bit more casual. So you'll probably end up wearing it more, at least I do. I love them both, I, I'm obsessed with this. This is like my holy grail fragrance, which I talked about, and I'll link that up here for you guys. But I had not known about this fragrance before I got this, so had I known, I, I'm not sure I would have actually gone for this, but since they almost smell the same, also, Oud Satin Mood from MFK. I bet you guys thought I was gonna give you BR540. No more Baccarat Rouge 540, you guys. I strongly discourage you from going for that, especially if you're just starting to build your fragrance collection. A lot of people these days smell this way. There are so many dupes, and there are a lot of people actually going for Baccarat Rouge because they think that they smell unique, exquisite, and in fact, you actually are smelling like everybody else. Right now, it is such a common scent profile. I really discourage you from getting that. I want to help you guys smell unique and captivating and especially if you're splurging, like we're talking about your bougie one, I wouldn't recommend Baccarat Rouge 540 because you're actually not going to be smelling that bougie, you're going to be smelling really common. I do recommend Oud Satin Mood. This one, also from MFK, incredible fragrance, so well crafted and it's an Oud Rose fragrance. It has vanilla, it's a little bit powdery, sweet, and it almost smells like, in a way, like Turkish Delight. It has a, a light powderiness like that as well. And that beautiful, addictive oud. It's so meditative, it's soothing. This is what I call a 007 fragrance. Like this is a red carpet affair event type of scent. You have to be in a gown, you have to be all done up, and this would be the scent. Like you are gonna smell majestic AF. You need this for a red carpet type of scent. For any kind of upscale event, I would go for this. But it is a little bit more of a cool weather scent, so just keep that in mind. I wouldn't be dousing myself in this on a hot day. It could be a disaster. So for your bougie one, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm kind of giving you three, but these two that I introduced to you first smell almost identical, and this one is very, very different. Oud, intense, and bold. And there's your list of five fragrances that every woman absolutely needs to have in their collection. Some of them are a little bit more under the radar. Some of them really are cult favorites, but all of them are fabulous. So it will definitely be a great starting point for your collection or just ticking all the boxes for every occasion that you'll be faced with in life that requires a fragrance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me. It helps the channel grow. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.